this is going to be our short video over how to build a triglyceride using a glycerol, which is kind of the backbone, and it's made of three carbons. And then we'll attach three fatty acids to the glycerol through dehydration synthesis. And so the first thing that's going to happen is the hydrogen um, over here is going to be removed. That's going to be part of the water that is removed during dehydration synthesis. So we're removing all of that because we're attaching three chains, three fatty acid chains to this glycerol backbone at each of these three spots. We're going to be removing three molecules of water in the process. So that's where the first hydrogen comes from. Then the OH from the fatty acid chains is going to be removed, and that will give us H2O, which is molecule of, of water. So three fatty acid chains, we are removing three molecules of water, and you can see here, each oxygen on the cut end and each carbon on the cut end has room for one more bond. So oxygen can form two bonds, carbon can form four. So each one has a space for one more bond. So what's going to happen is we're going to have that carbon come in and attach to that oxygen for each of those. We have three of them. And we can see this is a saturated fatty acid meaning it's full of hydrogens, it couldn't possibly hold any more. And then this one over here is unsaturated, meaning because of this little double bond right here, it's not full of hydrogens. So carbon forms four bonds, so it, with that double bond there, it has all four of its bonds, so it can't hold as many hydrogens that causes it to kind of bend and kink up. And um, the more saturated, or sorry, the more unsaturated it is, the more double bonds it is, the more it kind of kinks up like that. Um, and all, of, all together, this is called a triglyceride.